Reed Gervais, he shoots, it's blocked. Comrie throws it at the net. It's loose, they score! Garrett! And the Islanders lead it one to nothing. Grizgala thought he had the initial shot, but the puck is behind him, and Bill Guerin gets another goal. Not the prettiest goal, but he doesn't care. He'll take them ugly or pretty right there. You see Grizgala look over his left, and there's Bill Guerin positioned in the right spot. That is garbage time. But it's a thing of beauty right now as the Islanders get the 1-0 lead. Give a lot of credit on this play as well as we look at one more time with Prisgala thinking he's got it covered. Give a lot of credit to Mike Comrie. 15, the forwards killing the penalty. Bergeron fires, he scores! Power play goal, and the Islanders lead it two to nothing. This is what Marc-Andre Bergeron has to do, Howie. Let's, let's just hold on one second before that. Move your feet. Coming over right here, you're going to see all of a sudden Bergeron moves his feet to get himself in the passing lane. And then, there you go, he's skating backwards. And the puck is put perfectly right into his wheelhouse, and he hits the net. That's the culmination. When you hit the net, you get a goal. But before, other times, Bergeron was Paris. But he's double teamed, turned it over, Comrie in. Puck loose, Garen scores! Second of the game for Garen, 3 to 1 Islanders. Bill Garen gets his second two goal game of the year. The other one was a hat trick, actually, but Mike Comrie. It's going to be the reason for this one. Now, this is Mike Comrie at his finest watch. He's going to handle the puck in traffic, pull it away from Jovanovski, find it, and then the puck turns right over to Bill Guerin. But it's positioning again here, Howard. That's what it's about. It's about being around the net, not being too deep, not being away to the side too much. It's like being a big deal because this is only the fifth game they've played since then, but because they come to town so seldom. 2.3 seconds mean just a ceremonial face-off. Sutton dumps it down the ice, and the Islanders have a 3-2 win. Well, it wasn't easy, but Ted Nolan, I think, saw a lot of what he wanted. Wayne Gretzky didn't get anything that he wanted. Right wasn't down easy. to the last face-off yeah. spot. And, and, and it had shades of pretty, but it wasn't as always that pretty, but a lot of shots. Over 60 shots combined in this game. The Pietra made some good saves. It was one of those games that the guys had to just kind of slug it out, so to speak. Just find a way to win it. And they did. And that's what effort's all about. So they come back after a tough loss last night in Buffalo where the effort was not great with a much better effort tonight. Have a day tomorrow to regroup, a little practice time, and then get set for what is always a fun night against the Pittsburgh Penguins here at the Coliseum. Islanders salute the fans, particularly for coming out on a miserable night. And uh, Bill Guerin, the star of the show offensively with a two-goal game. And the Islanders with a 3-2 to two win over the Phoenix Coyotes. So they'll see the Coyotes next year anyway. That's different. Here's hoping it's in Phoenix, right? You got that right. <laughs> Especially if it's December or January. Uh, I would concur completely. <laughs> I haven't seen you smile that big in a long time. Yeah, since last week when we were in Florida. That's right. But who's counting? Well, the Coyotes are cooked by the Islanders tonight. And the three stars of the game will be introduced. Got to figure Bill Guerin will be number one. Rick Pietro looks like he's going to have a star himself. So here they are. The third star from the New York Islanders, number 32, Brendan Wynn. Now this guy will probably get a star of the game a lot more than he does. And he gets the number one star of the game for that Fu Manchu. New York Islanders, number 39, Rick Solid game for Rick. And he provides a souvenir. And you know who number one will be. New York Islanders, number 13, Bill. He needed this kind of game, you know? He, he needs to be around the net. He needs to have the puck coming to his stick down low. And 